I want to tell you something that Einstein discovered a century ago. Those of us who work in physics have known about it for a hundred years. It's time you knew it too. When you travel through space, you're also traveling through time, into the future. The faster you're traveling through space, the faster you're traveling through time. That's not obvious because you have to be traveling through space very, very fast before you'll notice your increased speed through time. You'd have to be traveling 108 million kilometers per hour, which is about 67 million miles per hour, before you'd notice your increased speed through time. But if you were traveling at a speed of 99.99995% of the speed of light, it would only take you 36 and a half days to travel 100 years into the future. So let's say you leave the Earth on January 1st, 2008 to travel to a planet that's 100 light years away at that very fast speed. You'll arrive on January 1st in the year 2108, but it will only take you 36 and a half days to get there. If you could move right at the speed of light, you'd be moving infinitely fast through time. It would take you no time at all to get where you were going, no matter how far away it was. You'd arrive at the same instant you left. That's why you can't go faster than light speed, but why would you want to? By approaching light speed, you can get anywhere in the universe in just a few seconds. Now do you see why warp drive is baloney? Why the whole premise of Star Trek Voyager is a joke? If not, watch this tape again.